Okay, pistons. Uh, what I've done here is I engraved a, a one inside of this one, just real lightly because I don't want to mix the pistons up. So I put a one there and a one there, and I should be able to see that. Uh, quite a bit of carbon on the face of this piston. Uh, you're supposed to take a, a wood scraper and scrape that off. I've got a, a little different method. And then uh, if you go to Kohler's website, here you can download all the, the tolerances and clearances and sizes of everything. So before I do anything with these pistons, I want to make sure that they are reusable. Now, there's never anywhere in the piston bore. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to check it there. The pin is tight. You can tell everything is all right there. Um, what we're going to check is piston thrust face, which is measured just below the oil ring at right angles to the pin. So, right angle to the pin, and you can see that's where, really, if there is anywhere, it's going to take place. So you'll need a 3 to 4 inch micrometer. Uh, so 3.1165 is the minimum. So you can set your mic up to 3.116, 3.116 right there, and use that like a go no gauge. We're definitely better than that. And then if you want to actually measure it. Looks like we are right there about uh, 3.118. So this piston's good to go. We'll check this one real quick. Three point one one seven about five. So these are both good to go. Same thing, it's it's covered in carbon. This one's really bad. Um, other than that, they look okay. We'll get the carbon off, make sure there's no... Well, this one's got a little scoring right here. But let's get the rings off first. And these are just a uh, cheap ring plier here. Kind of grab it in the gap. And then they come right off. These are, you know... Fairly shiny. They're pretty worn. Let's get the second ring off. And the oil ring usually is in a, a few pieces, so what you don't want to do is scratch the piston up here. See if this will even get that. This is such a thin, the top piece of that is so thin. What I'm going to do is kind of hold it up like that. Pull it off like that. The center piece will just come right out like that. And then this bottom one. Same deal, just kind of push it up. It's kicking my ass right there. Push it up there. I think most people don't use the uh, ring expander for that. I just hate to scratch the piston. But there, it's off now. Not too much carbon buildup in the grooves there. A little bit of scoring right here, so I'll get the rings off the other piston now. Same deal. Okay, that's all the rings off of this one. This piston has no scoring at all like the other one. So, next, the best way I've found to get the carbon off is right here. Big can of carburetor cleaner. It will eat the crap out of that carbon. Sometimes, you know, you've got to leave it sit overnight. 
depending on what's on there. I suspect this one with all that carbon there is going to take a little longer. But I'll just set that in there. Get the lid on it. And then uh, I'll see what it looks like in about an hour and uh, go from there. So I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to clean up the uh, the uh, sides, the crankcase halves, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, piston's been soaking for oh four or five hours now. So let's take a look, see where we're at. They should be uh, quite a bit cleaner than they were. As you can see, a lot of the carbon is dissolving. It's much cleaner inside. A lot of that's dissolving off. Still quite a bit on top. I'm thinking it's probably softened up, so let's just set that aside. I've got this block of wood. Now I can try to... knock some of that carbon off of there. It's definitely softened up quite a bit. You really don't want to use anything more than a, a block of wood on the top of this piston for sure. So that's got the big heavy deposits off there. You can see it's definitely softened it up. So let's take a look at the other one now. Quite a bit cleaner. Long ways to go though. Quite a bit of carbon buildup on the side of this piston. Some on the top. We can try to scrape some of that. I think it's quite a bit of it off. That's about all that I really want to scrape on there. It's still pretty thick. So I'm going to let it soak overnight. And uh, I'll check back in with you in the morning. Okay, my pistons have been soaking for just about 24 hours now. I think they're going to be pretty clean now. Let's get a look. Wow, still a little copper carbon on top of them. Try a little scotch bright. Let me get a. Oh, here's a. Blue pad. I'm going to spray it off with a little carburetor cleaner. Sort of a rinse. So there you go after 24 hours we've still got a little carbon. Now you can read where it does say standard here. Still some carbon on the side. There's a little bit of scoring right here above the top ring. I think that's going to be fine. Let's see what the other one looks like. A 
Still a little schmutz inside. Still some carbon on the top. Give it a little rinse. Getting there. I think uh, I'll probably let it soak another day. See how it comes out then. I'm, I'm going to take and uh, scrub off all the carbon that I can. And then uh, I'm going to throw them back in there and I'll check them out tomorrow. Okay, time for our 48 hour piston checkup. These things have been in here for just over two days. I'm thinking they've got to be done now. Still got some carbon on the top there. The ring grooves are really nice. There's a little bit inside. I'm thinking uh, some scotch bright. Rinse that with some carburetor cleaner. And there you can see there's a little bit left, but we're going to call that good. Whatever doesn't come up with uh, Scotch right now can just stay on there. See what the other one looks like. Again, the Scotch Bright. Uh, that's actually still got quite a little bit on there. I don't expect a whole lot more to come off. I think you could leave these in here for a week and you're not going to get that much more off of it at this point. I'm going to go ahead and clean off what I can with Scotch-Brite and then call them good.